That's your average motherfucking podcast. Dirty Hills. They hated Attitude Era. They hated the Ruthless Aggression Era. Guess what? A lot of us are these bitter old people. I love the Attitude Era. My nigga, let that thing die. Because honestly, if we brought back the Attitude Era, you will not let your kids watch that. Well, listen. Hold on, hold on, hold on. Hold on. Everybody's favorite stoner, and you are watching the Dirty Hills podcast. Gia, uh huh. Let's Back with another one. <laughs> it's your boy Killer Son, yes. aka Kofi Weedston. Oh, uh-huh, yeah. I'm here with the good brother, <laughs> the D O E. Let's go. Man, we got a special motherfucking guest. Yes. It's the Black Birthday Boy. Uh huh. All that in the pub. Uh huh. Let's go. Uh huh. Man, we got Mr. Black in the pub. Gotta get a people in the pub. Let's go. That's it, man. Uh huh. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. Let's motherfucking go. First of all, before we start off real quick, man, let me get this out the way. Uh, don't forget to subscribe to us on YouTube. We're on Spotify. We're on Apple Music. We're on Pro Wrestling Tees. We're on Twitter. Hashtag Dirty Hills. Feel me? Um, it's now, we haven't had Kofi Weeks in here last week. He is feeling better. It's good to have you here, my brother. I'm back. I'm back, I, I, man. I, I missed you, man. I'm back, man. Me? I think I got a new name. I got a new name. Oh, man. Isaiah. Herb Scott. I love it. I love there it, it is. I, love my, it. I, love I think, it. I think that's going to be the new name I go with since I cut him short, man. Yeah. You know. <laughs> and, and yes, y'all see, uh, he has a new hairdo, so listen. Oh, man. Oh, man. Oh, man. Oh, man. Yeah, yeah. Nah, nah, man. I, I, yo, this thing will work all of us. <laughs> <laughs> you get what I'm saying? And we got the big, we got the big homie. Again, Mr. Black, man, up, y'all? the host of Mr. Black Show, one third of the Java Tears podcast, that word group, whatever the movement, whatever y'all want to call y'all. Happy motherfucking birthday! Man. Yes, happy Thank birthday! You. Let's go, man. Thank Thank happy God. motherfucking God. birthday, God. man. Before we start, man, let's get this shot real quick. This toast, feel me? Toast, man. Uh, toast. Yeah, he, this 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 guy. Sorry, is... man. Kobe <laughs> still uh, a little under the weather. <laughs> now, brother, please. Tell the world where they can find you, your team, your movement, all that. Uh, you can find us on YouTube, um, social media in general, at the Java Tears Podcast, on Twitter at Java Tears. You can join our Facebook group, the Java Tears Podcast. Uh-huh. Um, that group is that, that Facebook. That's the network. Yeah. That work. That work. The PS one? Yeah, yeah. Oh, that's Trust the one I'll be on the most. I'm gonna be honest. That's that's that is the one I'm on the most. A lot of a lot of dirty. A lot of drama on that one, but overall though, we just try to set the tone. Like, you know, next month, you know, I know you guys are being one of those um, sponsors. Yes, yeah. Yes. Our yes. first ever wrestling event, Java Slam. Yeah, shout out to Java Slam down in Love it, man. July thirty first in Brooklyn, New York. Let's go. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? A whole lot of uh, prolific versus Shane Teller promotions. Yes. You know yes. what I'm saying? Fire. So we're looking forward to that, man. And, um, part two is going to be good. Oh! Ooh, 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 wow. ooh, 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 ooh. That's a Dirty Hill exclusive right there. Yeah, 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 yeah. That's a Dirty Hill exclusive. I call it a job exclusive today. You feel me? Brother. Now, brother, we, 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 we know you, man. What's up? Uh, Going on two years, two, yeah. two, two years, maybe, whatever, yeah, like maybe a little longer it, just yes. because you've seen us on the independent scene, yes, yes, right, 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 right. scene. But let us know who is Mr. Black, man. Let, let, let us know, man, your, from your upbringing. Because people, people, you know see, people see the uh, social media you. Yeah, yeah. Barely that, right? Yeah, yeah. Well, where'd you from? Got <coughs> <Out of> ashtray? <coughs> I'm originally from Queens and stuff like that. Uh huh. So I grew up in Queens. I was born in Connecticut, and mm. uh, born in Connecticut. It was me. It was me, my mother, and my brother for a while. But before that, okay, both my parents died. Wow. You know, my dad died when I was six. My mom died when I was a couple of months. So the person who I call mother raised me. That was right, my right, father's right. girlfriend. Right. So she raised me the best way she could. You know, okay. like she tried. Like I'm not gonna lie, my mom. My mom really did try. Yeah, 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 like, yeah, yeah, yeah. really did try one. But it wasn't easy raising two boys. And on top of that, you know, she had them getting a boyfriend, and that ended up working out because that was a very abusive relationship. Mm-hmm. So I didn't have the, the greatest example of men. But keep that in mind in the story. Right, right, So right. after a while, though, it was just, like, hard just trying to find yourself. You know how it is growing yeah. up. Yeah, like, if you yeah, don't yeah. walk this way, you don't talk this way, you're, you're not in the yeah, yeah, you're not yeah. in the in crowd if you don't exactly. do this. Exactly. Now, so. now uh, may I ask you a question? Yeah. Now, so, for those of people that don't know, this is the brother of 
the milk dot, milk dot poppy. With <laughs> Sir Wilkins, you already know. Shout out to Sir Wilkins. Now, brother. Now, y'all brothers, man. Mm -hmm. Growing up, man. Was, I know y'all ran in, did y'all run in the same crowds and now did you have to always uh, 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 distinguish yourself, you know what I'm saying? Like how, you know, tell us about your upbringing. It was mm -hmm. like, we ran a similar crowd. Uh -huh. It was more like, I gotta be a tag one for my brother. You want more, brother? Oh, hell yeah, man, come on, man, let's, let's go, man. I told you, man, the trip champ champ. Let's go, let's go. Let's go. Happy birthday again to Mr. Black. You know what I'm saying? Again, uh, this is the Dirty Hills podcast. Let us know in the comments down below how you feel, how you doing, or just hashtag Dirty Hills, whatever, man. But yeah, so we got similar upbringing, similar shows. Like, since we're so close to age, like two years, uh -huh. we watch similar stuff, you know? We watch Mega Man, we watch wrestling. Oh, yeah. We watch Arthur. You name it, we yeah, watch yeah. it together. We Nigga said Arthur. I love Arthur. Come on. Yeah, come on, man. I love yeah, Arthur, man. Class. Come on, man. <laughs> That's so, the Buster, man. Right. <laughs> so we played the similar games. Okay. I watched him play Final Fantasy. <coughs> we watched him play Mega Man. So we grew up very close, but we weren't close. Mm -hmm. Because he saw his own identity, I saw my identity. Exactly. But the thing about it is, I was always in so many different groups. You know, I was. I was a Boy Scout on, on one time. Um, I played basketball and football. Okay. You understand? Okay. So, so okay. Um, um, low key was fake gangbang for a little. Yeah, that, 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 oh, that's, that's what I want to hear. Yo, yo, right there. Yo. <laughs> <laughs> mm -hmm. so gang banging. And a lot of people don't know this, but I was a special ed too. Oh, wow. Listen, man, if I was still in special ed, I would have been president of the United States. Listen, listen, listen man. man. I, I was the first, first, first kid in school, man. and I still was in special ed. So you understand? Special ed struggle, B. Like, so I be telling people, like, I really was a special ed. Like, <coughs> it was the most funnest time. Yo. Yeah. But it was, like, the most saddest time. Yeah. That's with your self esteem. Yes. Yeah. Big yeah. time. Big time. Talk about it, man. No, Talk you, about like, it. yo, you in the hallway, and you're like, yo, this, this is just a five of y'all, but then y'all end up going, like, a real close a bond. knit. Yeah. Real bond with each other. Uh -huh. But, again, when you don't know who you are as a boy, you always want to follow what the crowd was saying. You understand? Mm -hmm. So mm -hmm. I was fresh for a year. They got me out because they realized that I wasn't a bad kid. I was just not well guided. Sound like me, boy. Yeah. So, <laughs> so sound like me. Right. So time went on. I went to high school. No, I was a junior high school. Okay. Junior high school, I was always getting into fights. Every single day, I was um. fighting somebody. Like, <laughs> No yo, right? And these people are not yo, around guys. I be telling people like, yeah, yeah. yo, do not let this who I am now like ruin, fool you. Yeah, yeah. Niggas like, I have hands. I'm crazy. Yes, yeah. yes. Yeah. Yeah. Like, yeah. Yeah. I don't like talking about it because when I gain from talking about it, yeah, you know. But I gain so much more when I tell people like I lessons I, I gain from these experiences. One time, right? These two dudes, right? I never get these dudes names. Clyde and some other dude, right? So Clyde didn't like me. <laughs> Again, over some girl, whatever, whatever, right? I'm like, yo, boy, you won. Like, I didn't have fun with you did. Like, what more do you want, bro? Like, mm. leave me alone. Mm. Because I beat him up in sixth grade, and he came back in seventh grade. So it is what it is. Right. <laughs> right. So <laughs> then, <laughs> yo. So, so, like, next thing you know, I'm on some. He came like, yo, man, nah, man. They say, hey, man. Nah, man, I'm tired of you. Tell me why niggas trying to jump me, son. It was a two-on-one. Yeah. I was looking like. Really? Really? F it. Fuck it. Threw my bag. I spit in one nigga's face. Oh, yeah, because that nigga's face. Because you know how it was going to go right. down. I Next thing you know, I was like, F it. I'm going dra dra to drag him into the street. Swung, hit, hit, hit. All the hip hop car backed up. Hit the other nigga. Still they black. broke it up. I don't black. care. That's, <laughs> that's why I'm like, you don't bring like to wrestling. That's why I'm looking at people like, yeah. that nigga's never been through nothing. Yeah, yeah. Have yeah. you been through some about stuff? It. Talk about it, bro. Son, you could defeat anybody. Yes. Talk yes. about it. So that's why I'm looking like, yo, the way that y'all niggas watch wrestling, y'all never been through Now, this. now, go ahead. No, I'm sorry, brother. Again, man. Dog, all this, all of your illustrious <laughs> gang banging back in the day and shit like that. You feel me? Uh, was wrestling always a part of, of your life? Of course. You it comes the pain. It's not gonna shut your did, mouth. It's like that one and two. Did you mm. see yourself sometimes getting into fights and doing moves, not over a real person or not intentionally, or you just always do your hands? No. Like, I DDT somebody. <laughs> I yeah. somebody. Sure. Yeah. <laughs> Make it happen. And then all of that is out of, like, when you see someone so competitive it. and, like, you start to visualize on some little Dragon Ball Z. Yeah, yeah. Yo, fire shirt, man. Fire shirt, by the way, man. All right, all right. I got a question. Life, man. What's something that people would be surprised about you? Mm. That oh. they don't, like, uh, something surprising, the uh, talent that you have. I love gardening. Mm. I love to garden. Well, I, that, that do me do a loop, man. Yeah, yeah, yeah that yeah. do me a loop. I like watching stuff. Bro, so, 
love that song. We, we trying to get somebody to play the violin on this bitch. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> no, we, 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 that's we, the, I think everyone in the guest plays the violin. The violin. <laughs> cello or some shit like that. You feel me, man? Gardner, how did you get into that, man? Those episodes, right? <laughs> <laughs> that's how we are. Speaking of hill, right? I drink the bins and shit. That's my favorite show. <laughs> right, Keep it right, my favorite show. Right. So this is a big brawler guy. He got into. It. I was just like, all right, cool. I like gardening. At one point, mm -hmm. if I was so subconscious, I would have been a hairdresser mm -hmm. because I saw the business. I saw the profit from it. Bro, and I realized that people don't understand that as a man, a straight man in that business, yeah, yeah. a woman want to hear from a man's point of view. You. But people don't understand that that's too subconscious. Can you cut for that, man? Can you, can, can, can you get your breath? Black over here looking in the mirror and shit. <laughs> oh, thank you. Oh, thank you. you know? like, like, for example, um, another thing, too. I used to play tennis. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. I was a Batman kind of guy. You feel me? Play ball. I played Batman. It was volleyball and shit. Yeah. Uh, you know, a lot of stuff that people yeah. don't say, like, because it's not cool in the hood back in the day. Yeah. Like, I say this, our generation got lost because we, we spent too much time trying to be cool. Talk yeah. about it. Way too Talk much trying it. to be cool. It comes to find out what's quote unquote cool now is all the lame kids that you make fun of. Come on. Travis Scott's in the video game. And all the dudes that make fun of him, what are you doing now? Yeah. Come on. Yeah, this is real shit. shit. You understand? Nah, this is real and, shit. And, and, like, and, and like, these are parts that people don't say. That's why I look at people like, yo, you be worshiping these, these celebrities, these, these stars, but then I realize that. They're cool is because they think that they're cool. Like the Rob. You, huh? hear, you, hear, you hear his corny jokes? Yeah. Like, really? Peel away Here we his go. whole appeal and his confidence. There we go. Really peel out of the way, looking like he's no different than every other so, guy. So, 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 this is a question that we had asked your brother this and stuff like that when mm -hmm. he was here. What do you, how do you, uh, do you consider the Rock to be black? Do you. No, uh, I mean, science wise, no, if his daddy black, he black. You understand? Okay, okay. Now, as him, as far as identifying to us. Oh, no, 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 no. no. <laughs> um, I never saw him as black. Okay. And I always saw him as okay. a Samoan. And yeah. if you go back and watch the Rikishi promo, he said, us island boys. Boom. Mm -hmm. Yes. That's the one thing people miss. I was like, well, I was like, well, yeah. Rikers Island boys? Rikers, it's stupid. Rikers? Exactly. <laughs> Shout out to my incarcerated baby mom. She's still there, B. <laughs> word, up, word, word the fuck up, man. But that's a question, you know, people, you know, often uh, 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 debate about is the rock uh, nationality, is the way he's from, does he identify and shit like that. Hey, man. Why don't um, you care? Like, it's, 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 me, it's just a question. You know, for me, kind of, I care because I... If I can't um, identify, identify you, uh -huh. how can I relate to you? Um, like I, I can't like I can't say Eminem's a whack rapper. I just can't identify and relate to what, what he's rapping. Now, if you you're talking about uh, Swerve Scott, Shane Strickland over here. Look, he can change his whole his name, Herb Scott. Feel me? Yo. Now, honestly, I like Hit Roll Record, but to me, they come off like. Un, ungenuine. Like, mm. I feel like yeah. It's not dumb. Because I see a picture of them, and I'm looking like, yeah, yeah. Half y'all don't dress like this in real life. Yeah, you know, uh, that's my a, problem. It's a meme that I had uh, put up, whatever, like that. Shout out to Ultra Hills Wrestling or whatever, like that. Shout out to you. Yes, it's about uh, AJ Francis. You feel me? Everybody watches the the mystery shit on AE. I AE see that. Bio. Yeah, that's him. And that's him. But when he's on NXT, it's like you're, you're contradicting your whole, you know what I'm saying? Your whole gimmick, your personality and stuff Damn. like that. That leads me to my next you question. Know? How do you feel about the way black wrestlers are positioned and gimmicks? Mm. Be gimmicked out or, mm -hmm. or like their gimmicks as a whole? Mm -hmm. I feel like how um, it's a two-way street. Shout out to Darius Carter. Shout um, out to the All Father, man. Yeah, um, he was on our show and he said this: We let ourselves get get put in the box as black performers. Yes, yes. Okay. And I mean, what he brought as far as I love him. Talk about you it. You don't know that half these niggas that who don't really bang with us are kind of industry low key. Yeah. And he listen to their show. He looking like nigga, you yeah. sound so PC. Yeah. Because yeah. a lot of them have real jobs in the industry. Yeah, yeah. And they cannot. You know, rock the boat, but so much. A lot of these independent stars who are like EMS workers, teachers, exactly. you know what I'm saying? And, uh, you know? and a lot of them are scary in real life. Like, if you talk to them in real life, you're looking like, 
yo, you're a scary person. Right. But with us, right, right. our podcast, we're going to rub people the wrong way, though, because people hate on us because we're us. I got to say us. Amen. Like, yo, when you go on my show, I'm going to say, yo, that should make my dick hard. <laughs> I feel you. And sit there like, I, it, it, no, it's, it's crazy. I'm down with you. It kind of bucked this out when we heard y'all curse like that for the first time. It kind of bucked this out. You feel me? What are they cursing and shit like that? Like, you ain't curse me. We lit. You know, we lit. You know, and again, man, that's one of the things we do best is curse. You feel me? Right. We we dumbed it down a little bit, but we still curse and shit like that. I mean, of course, you got a little dumb down to make it more general. The fact that don't dumb down your old stuff. Yes, yes, yes. yes. For me, if you want to curse so much, um, challenge yourself to use other words. Yeah. You understand? And so I'm saying, so it's an effort to that, yo, this this man uh, frustrated me in many different ways that I can't explain. You know, he's he's a bum. Now, you can save that other curse for something else. Now, yeah. now, 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 so keep talking about curse, curse words, and I believe this is probably in your notebook. Man. Oh, what's your favorite curse word? <laughs> <laughs> it's good to have my brother back, man. <laughs> what is your favorite <laughs> curse word? <laughs> the thing about it is just like, I don't do it a lot because mm-hmm. I have like a weird church background. Talk about it, okay. So, uh, me being in church from the age of 20 to like 27, <laughs> kind of when you dumb down a lot of my friends. Okay, so, so back so, in the day when you was backsliding and shit like that, you feel me? What was your favorite? Oh, my favorite one was something like this. <laughs> Because I know when I said it, I'm, I'm, I'm like, I'm in for war. Yeah, you know yeah, 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 yeah. So it is quarter in. That's why I tell people, like, <laughs> get mad at who you was. Know, <laughs> if I make y'all niggas feel comfortable, good. Now, <laughs> now, uh, also you podcast, whatever, like that. You know, you you seem like a man of, of all tra- jack of all trades. What is your not? Do you have a nine to five? And what is it? Feel me. <laughs> I don't like telling that part. Oh, but just right, we keep that, that secret. I mean, it's a stripper. That's what I it is. I'll tell you guys after the show. <laughs> like, that's the one part that I like to keep separate. He's a hitman. He's a hitman. Hit he's a hit man. Hit man. Hit man. Cameron Cross, he's coming for you there. That's the you thing. Hit all hitmen are nice. <laughs> now, now, if you wasn't podcasting or whatever like that, you know what I'm saying? Feel me? What would you be doing? Now, hold on, hold on, because we, we kind of digress. Wrestling it and podcasting. Would you still see yourself podcasting or whatever like that? Or, you know... How does the rest of the place place into the hole? Well, it saved my life, actually. Okay, all right. Understand? Because okay. before this, I was like, I was like, well, they always say that a man that doesn't have a purpose, he's lost. Church. You understand? Yeah. So I was just going through the motions, working, going to church. I was still trying to find myself. So then it all started. Like, well, a lot of people don't know this, but I almost died. Wow. Yeah, like I was in a coma for basically three days, and I was in the hospital for a month and a half. So I feel, I'm like, it got some that time, I was like, yo, this man's gonna die, so get your whole funeral arrangement. Damn. I'm like, I could track the red blood disease for TTP, shut down my kidneys, my blood count was down, everything. I was in the hospital, I, 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 I had to walk again. I would have been survived if I never met you. <laughs> right, right. <laughs> I would have been like, damn, it's why you have you here. So brother. the fact that I went through all of that, though, I had to find something, you know? And at one point, a lot of people don't know this, too, I actually fat. I can cost 300 pounds. You see, so, so you understand. Yes. So in yes. that time, I'm losing weight yeah. or whatever, is I had to find myself. So yeah. when the podcast came along, like I just started doing it. Like, I did at it, being persistent. I started watching what I need to watch on the screen because I'm the type of dude when like a classroom is cool, but I have to watch it every hey, day. Man. I just see examples. Are you, of are you listening? Are you listening, man? It's good right. to have you here. But are you yeah. listening, man? So which is why <laughs> so, I don't watch any. Like I saw myself <laughs> on screen, and I. Heard, I uh, Sean went to talk to the and said, yo, you're looking fat on the screen. I said, I don't want to look fat no more. Like, here comes the thing about losing weight. When you lose weight in a very rapid success, mm-hmm. you're trying to look at yourself in the mirror. Mm-hmm. And that's the one thing a lot of people don't want to talk about because you don't, you can't identify who you are in the mirror. Amen. And it forces you to actually love every part of yourself. As you're growing as a man, which a lot of men don't talk about this growth is, yeah. yo, you might lose who you are at one point. Because at one point, it's all I want to do is just impress niggas on, on podcasts. I'm sure. You know what I mean? You be on something like, yo, I got to be a wave, whatever. Yeah. Then I had to learn who I was, who's a wave. I had to go through a lot of heartbreaks, a lot of heartbreaks with women. And finding myself and going through the lows and the lows. At one point, I lived in a abandoned house. Mm. Like on some real abandoned house, on some real trap house and everything like Type that. Shit. Like bathing in cold now, water. Now, 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 if you don't mind me asking, uh, these are two questions, man. It's for the ladies out there, because we got female people. Are you single? Um, yeah. Uh, how old are you, brother? I just turned 33. 30, 30, 30, ladies, 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 ladies. <laughs> single man, single man. Definitely. Single man. Right. Listen, listen, when it comes to women in wrestling, they don't really like me because I ain't a surface nigga. Mm-hmm. You understand? They used to date a lot of surface people. Yeah. So when I come along, like, 
I've been looking at them like, what do you have to offer to me? Yeah. Like, I don't want to talk about wrestling, but talk about something else that'll make yeah. me intrigue and make you, make yeah. you be around. Matter of fact, are you going for first date? Next. See, see that turns me on. A chick knowing about wrestling and you feel it me? It does. That, that shit's struck what else? Ego. What else? Yeah. What else can yeah. I talk to you about? Yeah. Can you can you hold the conversation? <coughs> can you talk Amen. about the stars? And next thing you know, we talk about sucking dick. I, I love it. Feel me? Diversify. Don't be nervous to be cool. Just just be yourself, dogs. I'm gonna be telling everybody. You want to be an Ashdo You go, right? Oh, you know. I like that. I like that. But that's it, though, son. Yes. You are being 100 percent yourself. Yes. Mm. Like, I don't like niggas who try to impress me. Don't impress me. Yeah. Be yourself. Yeah. Come as you are. Yeah. Because it took me time to become who I was today. You saw me at any events, dog. You look like this man's wow. Yeah, I love it. I, 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 I love that shit. Son, we yeah, we I, love it because I, that's how you met us. <laughs> <laughs> A lot of people don't know. Like Look. we love, we love people. <laughs> so I can't, I can't, I can't be like yo, like wow, like no, I can't. Because that it? is how we fucking literally Let met. Your question: yeah. What was your thought when you was in the first indie event as uh, my friends, uh, us being friends? What was your first um, impression at the end of the night about me? There you go. Uh, we actually it. came home, and I think it was the highlight of our night. Yeah, cause, wow. yo, yo, because uh, you, 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 you juice me up. I'm already in my own level. You, ju- you juice me up. Um, between you and Janelle, I had yeah. the whole Java Tears, man. Yeah. The whole your Shout whole out to crew. Pretty, uh, the whole Pretty Hills, Java Tears, all of them. Uh, two and a half bros. Two and a half bros, yes. All of them, bro. You know I what it is? The, I was um, welcoming. I was, you the know, energy so, was so talking us, up. Like, loved it. Me. Like, I can't say nothing. It's <laughs> nothing bad I can say, man. Yeah, right. I just, true. Yo, man, we had a blast. What we noticed about y'all is. I want to know who the fuck is these niggas turning up more than who yes, is. Yes. You feel me? So, so we go after it. Yeah. <laughs> like, like, we love to turn up. Yeah. We're going to go crazy. We love that. Because you have to understand, like, yo, know, people want any events. Like, one thing that I know about people in New York, especially our generation, yeah, yeah. they don't be cool so much. Yo, like, yeah. you do like I do. I roll up at events, bro. You mean yo, too? Yo, you, you do that. <laughs> you see? <laughs> yeah, just roll up and smoke outside. I'm out, bro. Like, you like, like smoke I was the, park, the first man. event we met you at. Yeah. yeah. Nigga, we smoke? Gang, All right, let's go. Let's smoke. Yeah. And, like, just be yourself. Everyone will be cool. <laughs> no, no, no. Nah, man. One thing, I, I treat wrestlers like rappers. Yes. Yeah. Give them reaction. If you're a heel, I'm going to boo you. Boo you. Ooh, I like that. What do I do? Like Taylor Black, because I know him personally. Shout out to Black. Black. House smoking. We had mad in there. And he was like, yo, the fact that you, the fact that you was booing me, I like that. Yeah. Because let me know I'm doing the job. Thank yeah. you, son. Yeah. And people would really know, why would you do that? Blah, blah, blah. So you're supposed to do it. Yeah. Exactly. Oh, 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 oh. Our famous line is Dirty Ref. Because we always think the ref is dirty, man. Even if they clean, nigga, dirty ref. Dirty ref, man. Listen, let me call you that recorder, all right, mama? But you already know, man. You can also say this. What's going on? Yo, yo, how you doing? Much love. Later, <laughs> <laughs> mama. I'll call you later. But you already know, man. Make sure y'all hit that like and subscribe button, man. Y'all can yeah, share it, man. Know, man. Like, yo, be, be yourself, son. Yeah. That's what I'm telling people. And wrestling, they like that. And you talk to them after. Treat them like humans. Like yeah. all of a sudden, like yo, bump the wrestling. I, I'll say, are you great? Okay, but yo, other than that, how you feeling? Yeah. They look at me like, what do you mean? How I'm like, like what are you talking? How you feeling? I'm talking. You are a person. <laughs> yeah. How you doing as a person? I want to see how you are as a person. Yeah. Because performance, performance is one side of you, but when you go home, you got to be whatever your name is. Yeah. That's what people fail to realize Amen. that you know, like don't like like, like don't get caught up with your with your titles. We all Amen. have titles. For example, you are a father. Your, your husband, right? No, no, don't put that title on me. Well, yeah. you know, like, <laughs> he's like, in the civil union. <laughs> I'm, a, I'm a part of the baby father's union. Yeah. <laughs> Fine, but you know what? I'm making more proper title. You are you are a provider. Yeah. You're yeah. a father. You're a friend. You're you're a brother, and you're a son. He's a shit also. Don't but... get caught up in these titles. You yeah. define these titles how the best way you could. Yeah, that of is course, there's certain guidance that you have to yeah. follow, such as if you want to be. A better um, person, you you automatically your time's gonna improve because you took the time to work it in. Like you always gonna find my title. Oh, I'm a supervisor at this place, this kind of third. You being a supervisor at UPS, how does it help me right here, being a, right here in this restaurant? It doesn't, Nothing. It doesn't. No help. Shit. It doesn't. It doesn't at all. It doesn't at all. Real shit. You understand? Like, all right. All right. Like, let's pay this. attention. I'm gonna say this. Pay attention to a lot of these other podcasts. So we really talk to them. Why well, should look like? Oh, I mean, it's not just. So similar, son. And let loose, let loose. When you talk to an outside, look like, oh, this is a half a personality, but he's 
He just tried like, to be Yo, we cool. let all people I, know. I'm, I'm we with are you. the same on camera you know, worse. as when you see I, us worse. all. Worse. Exactly. Worse. You know what I mean? I, I'm trying not to fool anybody. I because you know what I'm saying? <laughs> anyway, all right. Terrible. What is your earliest memory of wrestling? Oh, see, Hogan. Hogan. See, Hogan. Unfortunately. Hogan. Wow, that's crazy. Hogan, uh, what like, was that memory? Uh, drop the memory, man. I don't remember. All I saw was Hogan. <laughs> mm, I said, like, Hogan stood out. Fucking Terry. That sucks. All right, all right. <laughs> Black Adam or Black Lightning? Hold on, hold on, hold on. You just kind of skipped, man. Do you do DC or Marvel? No, it don't matter, it man. Matter. You don't okay, even uh, know, man. All right, His name is Black. Oh, shit. Oh, oh, that was in the notebook, wasn't it? Right, my bad. I gotta go with um, Black Adam was never really black in comic books. Mm. So I gotta go with Black Lightning, especially the show is popular. Shout out to my man Scooter mm. from Living Single. <laughs> <laughs> Shout out to my boy Scooter. I, 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 I like this show because of the soundtrack. Yes, yes. The right. soundtrack is always off. It feels like it, it does, it doesn't, it just feels like a show with black superheroes in it. Yeah. Mm-hmm. It don't feel like a black show. No, yeah. it doesn't. There's a difference. Yeah. That's what I've been telling people, and that's the thing about wrestlers today. Mm-hmm. Okay, the problem with black athletes, a lot of them, is they are black wrestlers. Mm. They're not a black wrestlers who just happen to be black. Okay. You understand? The New Day are just black wrestlers, wrestlers who are just black and who just like all these cool stuff. That's why they resonate yes. so much better. Yes. Bobby Lashley, you can all can relate oh, to an man. athlete. MVP, you could all can relate to OG taking you on your fist when you you. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Yeah. These are general, yeah. these are general roles that they are playing. This is why they're so successful. Yeah. Street yeah. Profits. Right. Terrible. Street Profits. Oh, man. The, you know what Terrible. it is? Terrible. The Street Profits. You ever seen Who's Most Wanted? No, no, no. You ever seen Malibu's Who's Most Wanted? Yeah. You ever seen Malibu's Most Wanted? All right, it's the fact <laughs> that their names are the Street Profits. Are the Street Profits. Okay, what's your issue? Uh oh, here we go. Let us know they have time to yet go about one profits. to prophesy about anything. All right, mm-hmm. they don't come out like no street prophets. Like if a nigga, a nigga was like, "Yo, I'm a street prophet, though." I could be like, "Yo, I ain't wrong. Me hear something." Come out like Reverend D. Well, like, I don't know. Oh, oh, I just know <laughs> street prophet does not resonate in my head when I see them. Yeah, it just doesn't. I can see you ever seen? I don't know. Say Diggs, Anthony Anderson. Those are the For me, just like the name, just doesn't stick for me. I'm like, because I because you know what? I never thought of it that deep level because I know street profits. Yeah, you understand? Like, nigga, like a couple of times, like I be having niggas in the round circle and I be preaching to them. But you understand that, like, you you name yourself a street prophet, but what stuff you said prolifically? People want to gather exactly. except we want the smoke. I'm gonna be honest with you, that's just and, and then I'm not buying that. We I want like the, I don't like I, I, maybe we both want the smoke. smoke. You, you don't smoke, it. bro. <laughs> you don't smoke. You probably never rolled a blunt in your life. Maybe Dawkins. I can't maybe I can't I don't know I'm four. definitely not with it, man. Let us know in the comments down below if you think they smoke. I'm honest with you, bro. I'm be honest with you, man. I think they're great wrestlers. Of course. I just think they're so gimmick. you think that they should have bought the gimmick. Yes, man. Do some get rid of the shit profits. But the thing about a lot of wrestlers today is they get comfortable in the gimmicks. Yeah, well, that's terrible. That's the gimmick that they was given. And then, and then the cups, bro. Yeah. And then the cups. Yeah, then the cups. Then the, they ain't never been in a real cookout. <laughs> now you now you coming at us now. <laughs> the Dixie cups. Come on, brother. Come on, bro. <laughs> come on, you got to use it, man. Come, come on, man. Wear suits every other day. <laughs> we know this. <laughs> Look, they just came out of a fraternity. <laughs> Look, they just—they just. They just <laughs> I'll be honest with you. All right, man. Favorite black wrestler of all time. Come around, come on. He, yo, you dealing with the real deal now. Come around, like, and I, and I met him. I'm gonna tell you about this. You know how I met him? Because I spoke into existence. Mm. I said, and, I, and, and everywhere I say, I speak in, speak to life into it. Okay. I believe it. So okay. I tell a lot of niggas out here, man. Death. And like the power of the tongue. Yes, yes. People always want to say, I don't know, I'm in low life, I'm gonna lose it. Stop saying that. Yeah. Because your conscience don't know the difference. Talk about it. So mm. I already spoke to this that it happened. There's a couple of stuff that I already spoke to this that's gonna happen. I just gotta wait, I gotta wait this language of the universe. You feel me? Patience. Yeah. Yeah. You know well, me? I do like one thing that uh, you and your squad do most. Mm-hmm. Y'all at the forefront of the black wrestling community. Now y'all stop, y'all, uh, sooner, sooner or later, <coughs> sooner or later, y'all gonna be at the forefront of the wrestling community, which is, I, I'm gonna be honest with you, is there. Uh, a lot of black people don't embrace us. You feel me? I don't know why. people within the wrestling yeah. community don't embrace us because 
of the whole Tessa situation. Ah. So here comes the situation. I would test the venture. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. So super long story short, where <laughs> he had an episode, mm -hmm. and my brother got information from somebody, and he talked about it on the show, and he said that Tessa got permission from somebody uh, to say the yeah, N word, word yeah. right? She but then episode, yeah. my brother, we also said that even that she got permission, she should never said, said that. It. Yeah. But of course, people only heard. Yeah. Permission. Permission. And she, she of, said it. Yeah. Until she said it, but then nobody heard everything else after that. Literally, I was in group chats. Someone said, "Oh, you let Tessa blah blah blah." You defended. I was like, "Well, I said this," and I the whole clip. I got no likes about that. He's like, "Oh no, I'm not gonna bang with y'all. I'm gonna do it with black but wrestling." Those, those, like, those are the people that don't matter, though. Yo, of course. Those but are then, the, yeah. Of course. Sorry to interrupt you. Talk about but it. But then after that, on some like, yo, after that, the same people that went up playing us, oh, f you, 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 you call blah 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 blah. Months later, I'm sorry. I apologize. You know, I had to talk with everybody. I was like, yo, like, yeah, what you said was done wrong. We even got See? a See? year later from a podcast that people we used to deal with, huh? had two episodes about us, talking wild trash about us. Wow. Two episodes, live on our name and everything like that. So we faced a lot of backlash. Even our, some people that we made smile on our faces, other podcasters, right. but behind our back, they talking trash about us. What? And I say, yo, listen, y'all don't go outside. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> like, and you don't know this? A lot of y'all talking wild trash. A lot of podcasts talk about it. Talk about talk about trash about all of us. You never see on any events. Yeah. Yeah. You never see on any events. You literally see them outside. <laughs> and that's your biggest thing, right, brother? You never see them. You never see them. <laughs> where you at, though? Yeah. Where, you, where you at, that though? That is one of my biggest. We're, we're not everywhere, right. but you're going to guarantee that you're going to hear, hear about us or see us somewhere, brother. I'm going to be honest with you, man. And uh, I mean, I'm gonna I speak for myself. I don't know about you, man. Mm -hmm. uh, us being in this game, man, we never thought we was gonna ever be accepted by y'all. You know what I'm saying? Like, you know, like, yeah, I know we was all cool and shit like that. But as far as like Mount Rushmore shit, man, we, you know, I ain't gonna lie, bro. That's I, I'm gonna be honest with you. I feel like we have to. We, we still gotta work to be up there with y'all, man. But just the, the the love that y'all showed us and stuff like that. You know what I'm saying? It was, it was humble. You feel me? Yeah, like man. you know, we ne it, it was no competition, brother. It was, it was no competition. It, it was it was like more like you know, are are we gonna ever be that big like them? You know what I'm saying? You feel me? Or like, wanna... y'all big in your own right? And that's the one thing that yeah. separates y'all. Once yeah. you learn this from this thing forward, you're gonna be big in your own right. Yeah. Because when I was starting to do this on my birthday, I feel like. Yo, I gotta come here. Yeah, 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 I gotta yeah. Do. yeah. Because y'all set the tone. Yeah. Y'all say, F, we're gonna do what we have to do. Niggas respect y'all. If they don't, fuck it. Okay? Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. okay. Yeah. Listen, listen. Yeah. If, well, if, if, if like, these, any wrestlers wanna come on, you're lost. Yeah. Because that means that you don't work on your craft. Because eventually, when you go to WWE, you know, these bigger spaces, you gotta do interviews. Guess what? You don't wanna do no interviews. Exactly. Blah, 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 blah. Sure. And guess what? Half y'all niggas don't know how to cut promos because all y'all want to do is post your big moves instead of cutting promos with damn yeah. phones. Yeah. But guess what? A lot of trainers are not hot on social media. Sure. So yeah. they're not teaching yeah. the other side. F it. Go on podcasts. You know, shout out to everybody. Yeah. Um, 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 my son, <laughs> PG Black. My son, um, yeah. My yeah. son, my son, my son, big, uh, big time, oh, yeah, yeah. yeah. Tasha Steele. O'Shea Edwards, man. O'Shea, yes, yeah, O'Shea. Shout out to the big, you feel me? Your big time, yeah, yeah. Shout out to all the All these dudes out here. Just you know, just know the shout whole job to the South, man. I gave y'all niggas a seal of approval, man. Yeah, yeah. Like, yeah. good. Yeah. Thank you. Yeah. Yeah. Trust me. Yes, sir. Yeah. <laughs> Trust me. Yeah. Yo, thank you, man. Yeah. 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 That's it. That's not, I, I realize I don't give everyone a seal of approval because I realize that because I ain't talk a lot, mm -hmm. but people always want to feed for my approval. Nah, what are you doing to excite me outside of wrestling? I do a small talk, but what else? Yo, you don't notice yeah. that I'm not, nine out of ten times by myself? Yeah. Because I got to protect my energy. Yeah. And I got to protect everyone else around me. Because these things are very buddy buddy. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. I have to be the one who's going on some like, yeah. nah, I don't like this nigga. You're not wrong, Yeah. Bro. Yeah, because you have you do you have new right. feelings, and people do forget that. People do forget yeah. that. Yeah, so that that's the black that people don't know about. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. You feel me? That, I, right. That's that's that your brother. That's that's, 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 that's mine. Right. right. Like that's like everyone will see you on a daily basis on the show. That's that's Mr. Black. Mm -hmm. You know, but that's no different from Yardley. They're the same people, but one of them got to protect the other one. Yeah, Mr. Yardley. Has the childlike instinct in me. I love it. Protect. You understand? At the end, that's everybody. Never let your inner child grow up. 
Mm. Cause that's the inner child that you wanna. That keep the dinosaur. Exactly. Like for like example, like, like every that. time, like that. every like time that. now I get feel like I'm not worthy enough. I said, Yo, bro, look inside. Would say that you niggas you got your own crib, you got mad sneakers. Our uh, girls like you. You be having sex. You have your own podcast and all of that. Shout out to the wrestlers. Out there, like, you feel me? Yeah, like yeah, you gotta yeah, say yeah, stuff that yeah. realize you was not doing before. Yeah, yeah. So it keeps you in the fact that it's always gonna be you against you. But once you start comparing yeah. yourself to everyone else, exactly. it's not fair because you compare yourself to people highlights. Mm. And that's why I'm looking at social media and all that. It's all good and all whatever. We could have been some smoking ass niggas. Yeah, now we just some smoking ass niggas. That's yeah. <laughs> listen, listen, I'm real with you. Black, if you had bad, asked man. me when I was 12 that I'd be like auto and all these high niggas on TV, mm. you're like, what are you talking about? Man? Right, right. Now right. I'm looking like, I see why they was always high 99% of the time. Yeah. Life was just so much sweet. You don't notice that it was always the wise person on the show, and they taught me a life lesson. <sighs> Enjoy life. Yeah. Yeah. Enjoy life. Enjoy every minute around. I think this is the best two years, three years we ever right. had. And you gotta, you gotta you enjoy the ride. Yeah. We yeah. being here, the yeah. old me will be on some like, oh, I'm taking my father's different things, whatever, whatever. Yeah. But yeah, yeah. Right in the moment. Yeah, yeah. But you know, every successful celebrity always says, Man, live in the moment, man. Live in the moment. You know, what the fuck that mean? It's not there because you have that broke man mentality. They, they can say that. They can mm-hmm. afford to say that. Yeah, right? yeah, 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 yeah. They, they, they can afford to say some shit. They can afford to say something. They're looking like, yeah, yeah. Nigga, look, listen to what he's saying. Talk about it. Son. Yeah. Think about what he's saying. Yeah. If he's successful, just like you, we're all humans. So, what's the in you? Yeah. When I start realizing that is when, let's compare it to everybody related to love. Oh, I'll never fall in love again, blah, blah, blah. blah. Then heart years heart. later, look at you. You do your thing. Kids and everything like you that. Never you never thought that would happen. Zoom, 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 we start zoom. bringing that up because we are humans. We could. Mm-hmm. Yeah. That is facts. That is mm-hmm. facts. That is facts. Mm-hmm. All right, all right, all right. Uh huh. I got a question. Let's yeah. go. Let's go. Um, Let's go. The podcaster mm-hmm. slash, you know, the man or whatever you want to say. Check um, check um, you, got, you got a superpower to help you. With your job, which would it be? Yeah. Yeah, man. I never thought about that. Like, Damn, that is. Right? <laughs> you should ask the oh, animal teleport. Person. Teleport. Okay. Because it would save so much money on traveling and stuff like that. I could go to any event. Think yeah. about it. Amen. Yeah. I go to any event. I need to think like, about that. Man, all right, so I'm how about you just for this event? All right, I could, like, I could find $120. Look at it. Damn. Yeah. 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 Oh, yeah. Man, think about it. About it. You about it. every event. Yeah, that's crazy. I didn't know at that time either. When was. you met her, I just knew her as Nyla Rose. You know what I'm saying? I just my first time. Yeah, meeting her. Warriors. Warriors. Yeah. yeah, I went my first time. Meeting her. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like, at that time, I didn't know. Right. You know, side note: Sunny Kiss is beast in the ring. Yeah, yeah. fire. Like fire. I don't get his booty attack move. Which side note: niggas are weird. Yeah. I don't say exactly why. <laughs> you let Rakishi. Y'all should chill out, keep you put the butt in niggas' faces. Right. Oh, yeah, look at the face. Right. Right. Put it in your right. face. Right. And y'all need to do the same thing. But Sonny Kiss is doing yeah. the booty attack. You know, yeah. oh, he gay. What? That's delicious. You rather rock Kishi? That's so delicious. But then, you know, you feel me? Rock Kishi, all up in the face. You, don't want you know, Sonny Kiss was like back and forth for a couple of minutes. <laughs> you know, all right, whatever. You know, like, yeah. I can take yeah. this. They go to the tongue right there. Like, ah, you slipping up. You feel me? <laughs> <laughs> They're gonna tell my bad. Alright, alright, alright. Uh, 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 weird question. Fucking, mm-hmm. um. Animal. Uh, okay. What animal would you be? Or you describe yourself? Silverback gorilla, baby. Mm-hmm. Okay. Like, I can't say that. I don't care. But I feel like as a gorilla, so me as a gorilla, I feel like I just have that 
yo, like, yo, I feel like if I have to be one, I'm gonna say, man, yo, grill a grog type shit. Oh, yeah, oh, yeah, yeah, I take that. What? I take that. It's like 100% mix. That. That's it. 100% yeah. mix. Yeah. That's it. Yeah. That's it. Yeah. Like, yeah. I always imagine, like, if I have to pick ever to select, I feel, see myself the crowd go, oh, what's up? Oh, right. It's be like, ooh. I love it. All right. Mm-hmm. All right, man. Now let's let's uh, let's switch gears. Um, your take on wrestling today? I feel like wrestling is at the best place that it is as it is right now. Okay. Yes, it's not as popular as the way we're showing. Okay. But we can able to just go on YouTube and watch a wrestling match. Okay. You understand? Okay. And that we put on many classic pay per view matches on there. I can find another stuff. Hey, if I want something consistent, MLW. Um, and, and, and the way I can watch an indie event, you understand? I can go to an indie event. Chickens yeah. tickets are so affordable and cheap. Uh-huh. And people want to be at the indies. Yes, yes, shout out to the indies. Like Support like independent wrestling. I of it yes. yeah. that I appreciate that. Because during the pandemic, all we had was wrestling brand new every week. Yes, yes. And I thank God. I was like, thank you. Nigga would have hung himself, man. <laughs> Yo, that's what I'm telling people. <laughs> yeah. 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 That's yeah. That's that's people. Up, Why you guys complaining so much? Just embrace it. And that's the thing I always tell everybody, like, Saying Why would you do a wrestling not um, it's not there? Well, you know, I'm about to do you know. Half y'all, half y'all, half y'all live and breathe wrestling. But yeah. look how many wrestling podcasts have popped up since a lot of people don't see that. Yeah. A lot of oh, people man. don't understand that. Oh man. Mad people from the pandemic. You know, some oh, of them are looking like Are you gonna be still being here? Yeah. <laughs> some of them I don't like because they be people laying down on their bed. I'm looking like this is so ugly and yeah. unprofessional. Yeah. Like, get up! Yeah. All right. Uh Birthday wish. It is your birthday. Let's go. I saw her. All right. And, and I ain't gonna lie. Just thank you again. Yeah, thank, no you. Problem. thank you again for pop. Yo, thank you, man. Now, uh, we got different eras of wrestling, man. We got the Pioneer Age. We got the Golden Age. Uh, we got the Attitude Era. <laughs> blah, blah. Favorite era? Sega. Favorite era? Yes, yes. Ruthless Aggression. Ruthless Aggression. I'm gonna explain to you why because. Okay. Anti-era was high school behavior. No. Go ahead. Aggression was, this is my college years, and I was perfecting it. Uh, that, and they I didn't like that. perfect like the formula. I, like, I do like that. But they saw more money in PG. Mm-hmm. You know why WWE always geared towards kids? Talk about it. Because that's who wants the toys. That's who wants, who wants the, the merch. Toys the merch. Like but yeah, if you turn a fan to a kid, a, 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 a fan, from early as a kid, we'll still be a fan today. Yeah. Prime example, we still pop for all these old niggas. Uh, like, like like to this day, we all grew up and we still talk about it. Yeah. yeah. So why not make a fan out of the kids right now? There's going to be certain corners you're going to see. That's why I tell people, yeah. stop watching wrestling as an old nigga. Yeah. Watch wrestling as in a child. child yeah. Like, yeah. For example, it was Ricochet versus um, John Morrison and the Men's Night of Squirty thing. Fire. It was funny to me. Listen, it was Hilarious. funny to you. It was funny to you. Did I find it funny? No. Yeah. But I said. I like the fact that they're letting Ricochet bring out his personality. Now, yeah. yeah. I like the fact that they're still able to work. You saw what I saw. I saw Prince Puma. I saw Prince Puma vibes, man. That's exactly. I, I, said it. I, 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 I saw that shit, man. Dream match. Exactly. And that's why I tell people, uh-huh. yo, stop watching that as a grown man. Mm-hmm. Like, some dude named Brad Shepard was on our show, right? Talk about it. And talking about him, he was like, oh, yeah, he's full of wrestlers, blah, 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 blah. I'm looking like, bro. What's the big deal? It's called it's called variety. <coughs> yeah. You love Floyd Mayweather, right? Yeah. You love all these small dudes in basketball. Yeah. But in wrestling, you don't like them? Excuse me? I want the bigger in life star. And this is go all goes back to what I said about childhood. Talk because about he it. grew up in the golden era with Hogan. Oh, so oh, he's yeah, only gonna have that right. selfish ideology. That's why I tell people, evolve. Evolve, 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 no. evolve, evolve. Now we got this era now, you feel me? This is, we're not even talking about WWE itself. We, we got to consider it. this era. Yeah. yeah. Go ahead, um, bring some that shit right off my. Because we got so many in the companies, bro. So yeah, many, bro. Do you consider this, this era? Like, I consider this era of. We got to reestablish our families. Because a lot of us, a lot of our core families got lost. Yeah. And this is where people, a lot of people say, oh, you cannot only pay to your hardcore fans. But you're wrong. Yeah. Because yeah. if you're a rapper, anybody in the music industry, they always say, Stick to your hardcore fans. Yeah. Don't forget the real fans. Talk about it, man. J. Cole stick to his hardcore fans. You know, there's certain stuff you may not like, but they understand that. All right, look, cool. look at LL Cool J's method. LL Cool J. My man still looking his lips. Feel me? Met his core fan base is female. Yeah, yeah. he knew it. Exactly. Yeah. Our core fan base, 
is three different type of people. But I think it's too much. Two, uh, <laughs> it's levels, right? There is the people that who the who the I'm scared to express how I feel, but I'm still a black man. Uh -huh. Black people, you understand? Because mm -hmm. in my job, it's but so much I could do. But I still like to do nigga stuff. Yeah. Okay. And then the other side where I are the hood niggas, the free spirit niggas, Talk the special ed niggas, niggas that always so like, with the black sheep of the world. So those are the dudes that I learned another day. When I, when I, when I, so when I speak about wrestling, I speak to y'all. Shout out to so the alternative school niggas right, also. Right, right. Hell yeah, I went to alternative school. Shout out to the niggas. So I just said, alternative school niggas out there also. You want to know, man. Stress, so alternative school was popping. Though, by what? Like, you go to school at night? <laughs> Yo, first off, that's how I started listening to conscious music. Man. Me too. Me too. That's how I started Me too. listening to conscious Me too. music. Me too. <laughs> Getting rapping, Me too. poetry, and all of this, man. So, uh, are you gonna ask him about the battle rap, man? How he oh yeah, on dude. Battle dude rap, you like you battle rap? rap man? I haven't been really up to it lately, but like I like um, my son Hollow the Don and stuff like that. Yeah. I like mm. the saga. Um, I like. Um, I might um, give you a one like saga. The first walk down the road. You don't like the song? You understand? This is birthday. I liked him when I was in church. church. Okay, you know and what? You know what it is? Then he came up to me. Like, he, was, he was in my church. He showed me love. So, whoever showed me love when we didn't have to, son, I, yeah. no, I don't think he's a corny as a person. I don't okay, think he's okay. corny. Oh, no, no, at first he's dope. But, like, I get it. Like, you don't. You don't, you don't, you don't <laughs> His you don't. style doesn't appeal to me. You know what I mean? Just not as. Now, uh, we, we, we're still on a music tip, the hip-hop shit. How do you feel about, you know, uh, hip-hop crossing over like the WWE as far as Cardi B's? Yeah, you know. Yeah, I know. Ah, it's not the like, bad bunnies and yeah, shit like that. Will, but I feel like if you really want to get the, the hardcore fan base, Get the niggas that have been rapping about y'all. Yeah, yeah. So, yeah. This and stuff like that. Talk about it. Really been rapping about y'all. Wale. 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 That's my All boy. these dudes. My get boy. them to do that. Get the dudes who love wrestling first. Yeah. Because it makes it seem like, think about it. Someone kind of outside looking in like, like a child that he may love wrestling, but on the low, he look like, do oh, I, really I see, yeah. oh, I see the boss over there, Ross. I'm coming. Yeah. That's why I tell people. Stick with the people who really are fans. Stop mm. trying to get people that who kind of iffy iffy because they do dumbness on screen and embarrass themselves. Mm-hmm. Dream now, match. Dream match, yeah. Oh man, um you we give you three, man. It's a lot. Uh, <laughs> see? It's a lot. Man, I'm gonna give you three, man. <laughs> oh, Darby Allen versus Jeff Hardy. Ooh. Liar. Um Yo, I, that that's amazing, man. Yeah. Right. That's, that's amazing, liar. man. Liar. Liar. He's see, gonna make uh, Darby's gonna make Jeff look good. Darby Allen is he's gonna make Jeff technically Lee. wise in the ring. Jeff Hardy. Yes, he is. You yes. understand? I yes, like him. Um, Bray Wyatt versus Crow Sting. Ooh. I mean, I First off, that's my favorite. Ooh. Thank you. You did it, Brian. Brian. Oh, man. And the yeah. third is, um, oh, Bobby Lashley versus, um, I forgot his name. I feel his name was Marquis. Marquez, uh, T Impact. Uh, uh, um, the alpha male. Alpha, ooh! The pounce! Ooh! The pounce. <laughs> ooh! Yeah, the alpha male. Ooh, that's how I tell people. Monty Brown. That's how I, Monty Brown. That's, that's how I tell people. That was all the way out the way. No, 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 he pounced them off the, like, uh, he was on the gate, he was on the gate. Yes, yeah, first of all, he didn't get his just due. Dude. He didn't get his just due, man. I ain't gonna lie. I even tried inboxing the dude, man. I'm like, yo, can, can I holler at Monty you? Monty Brown. You feel me? You know what I'm saying? I tell people. Like the pounds! Before they was Keith Lee, there was, a, <laughs> there was my... Monty Brown. That's why I tell <laughs> niggas. Clap for that man, please, man. Clap for him, yes. Tell niggas. Clap, man. Clap, man. Clap, man. My man was from the Serengeti, man. Yeah. So I tell niggas. I love it. I can tell niggas going to watch early, early oh, TMA. Come on, man. A lot of niggas going to watch come a lot on, of man. stuff. I'll be, I'll be like... Look, 19 years in, boy. Look, 19 years I in. I still watch it back to this all, With all the way, it's all the MLW, MLW yeah. underground, all that I was there, man. I was so much yeah, yeah, I was there. I, I came, I saw that comment and all this shit came and communicated in the Dirty Hills podcast. Aha! <laughs> Aha! Uh -huh. I told you, nigga. <laughs> but I do want to go to Death Match, though. Oh, man. Mm. I would love to go to Death Match. Yeah, I, I just told him like a couple oh, weeks man. ago, bro, man. Bro, bro. Come. I got to go for experience. Well, I, I, I think we actually did go to a Death Match. Yes, Casanova. Casanova uh, Val did. Val Val Valentine. We, did, uh, BCW, Atlantic City. How was that? Seeing Death Match? Really? It, was, it was, for me, you were asleep. 
Well, from what I've seen, for me, <laughs> from what I've seen, it was not cool. how I put up. It was cool. It was actually not as bad as I thought it was. Put some respect on his name, though. Yeah, it's not as bad as I thought it was. I, I thought the cool end dude. was even better. Most, most, that's not the end was the like best cool for dudes. me because Darius Carter walked through the whole was like, yo. <laughs> <laughs> so yeah, he walked through the whole thing after every, everybody finished wrestling. Mm -hmm. He walked through all the debris and the destruction. He <laughs> called everybody peasants for having the match. Exactly. <laughs> That's how you heal me. Yo, shout I out said, to Darius Carter, Carter awesome. man. Mm -hmm. That topped my night off. That's how you know I remembered it. There is Carter. Top my night off. All right, man. Uh, thoughts on JTG. Uh, thoughts on uh, yeah. Let's let's get uh, a couple of these guys like Shane Taylor. Thoughts on these guys, man. Um, I love what Shane Taylor do doing because he's doing it with Zachary. Um, okay. I like to call him like a very like a pioneer of yeah. black wrestling. The, the, the battle of all time. Yeah. Yeah. Ownership. Yeah. 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 His contract was exclusive and all weights, yeah. and he was able to build Shane Taylor promotion. Exactly. Shout out to the soldiers also. A Salvo Tree. Them boys is dope exactly. too, man. I'm gonna be honest exactly. with you, man. So. He uh, did what like a lot of people are afraid to do as black men. Yes, yes. Like, but then again, own your own shit. Exactly. But then again, you needed. Um, I like to say you needed the, the other black men who didn't get as far as you to set the yes. tone, yes. the bridge. Yes. So the fact that you own your own, the fact you try to do what you have to do as a black man. He's a man now. Yeah. yeah. He's been a man, but niggas, he, he's, he's the, the man now. Of this. Yeah. Woo! And a lot of people don't give a credit to the black guy, and a lot of black people. Don't want to say it because a lot of them are trained not to like us black people. Mm. Yeah, and that's why I tell a lot of these black fam looking like, if I really want to say what I have to say, y'all don't like me. I call me cool. Y'all call me Uncle Tom because it's <laughs> like, oh, that's me. You want to know Uncle Tom was actually a good person? Do people? It was a Sam Boo. It was a Sam Boo. Yes, Sam Boo. That's yeah. why I be telling people, yeah. learn your history. Yeah, stuff like you know, that. You know, I yeah. I know. Yeah, I know. But yeah. I don't say nothing. I was like, I, like. If you dare not to call me that, you're ignorant because you need to be homophobic mm, yeah. as a person. Yeah. Because I'm Uncle Tom, I'm a cool that you call me because I say that how I have an opinion against black people. Mm -hmm. This is why that we have a grown as black people collectively. Because we have a stupid rule that we can't talk bad about each other. Da -da -da. But yeah, when a celebrity does that, they're all going to joke on him. It's just jokes, you know? No, it's not. Now, now, let's, let, let's, I threw JTG in there. And uh, I'm going a, I'm to a kind of take it back, man. And, uh, uh, Xavier Woods, man. Your thoughts on Xavier love Woods, it. the Renaissance man, man. I Your love thoughts that on man. that guy, uh, Austin Creed, man. Because you know he never let nobody told him no. Okay. Yeah. And the one thing I like about him, he put his whole balls on the, on the table, like, yeah. if this doesn't succeed, fire me. Yeah, and guess me. what? Mm -hmm. And he said that, yo, listen, you hear that? Let me do what I have to do. Yeah. For you to get that trust from another man, I don't know color, you have to show, Talk. this is what I want to do. And Man, hey, thanks. listen, I put my job on the line, so you got to give me, you got to let me go to do it how I want to do it. If I still fail, at least I know that I gave it all. Mark Henry went to Vince and said, I want to do a strong man competition. Vince said, yo, listen, yeah. if you lose, you don't have a job here. He went out there and did what we had to do. That's how I tell people. Yeah, yeah. that's what shit. I didn't even know that. Right. And I know you shit. Know. I didn't know that shit. That was so you as a man, a woman, whoever you are, be about your work. Mm -hmm. If they want to do something, do it. And mm -hmm. do not go against that. You know, all right. That's why I tell you when you call me like, oh, you gonna come look like, yeah, I'm about my words. Yo, you, you, you know me. If I don't hear from a person by a certain time, man, I gotta. Yeah. All right, all yeah. right. Uh, real quick questions before we go. Um, pizza or pineapple? Yes or no? Yeah, it's good. It's cereal, good. cereal with milk or no? Cereal with milk. What's wrong with you? I got kids, man. Yeah, almond milk. What's wrong my, with my you? My kids don't like milk in their cereal. It's almond milk. All right, all right. Uh, Try uh, Swiss or American cheese? Swizzy. Ooh! Socks American cheese socks. tastes like plastic. Socks every day, dude. Yeah, I don't wear socks. Well, I, I, mean, I, I hate them, man. Like, I don't know what it is, I, man. Do you feet stink? No. No. I, then, I don't care. Is your feet bad after not wearing socks? If you don't care, he's a male. He's okay with it. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Cool, That's for every man out there. You feel me? Again, uh, a man. Black, thank you again, Wait, man. It's over already? Oh, what's up, man? Yo, I have mad time. <laughs> Keep going. Then. Don't at this. All right, all right, all right. Cool. You, you got some more questions? Yeah, I got some more yeah. questions. Yeah. I didn't bring my book, man. That's <laughs> the guy that shoot from the head. Um, open book. All right. Now, now I'm about to open the door for you now, nigga. You got the, uh, you got the DBC shirt on. Feel me? Mm -hmm. I'm assuming that might be your, your favorite, favorite anime of all time. Yeah. You feel me? Oh, yeah. Favorite character on Dragon Ball Z. Machida. Mm. Favorite saga? Oh man, 
I gotta say the Cell Saga. Okay. Okay. I'm not mad at him. Okay. The Cell Saga. Yeah, yeah, I gotta say the Cell Saga. That's when Cell, Cell Saga was the most complete. Okay. And I felt, oh, the second favorite one is the Boo Saga because it's just Vegeta's story arc. Not, oh, man. It's Friday. And, and the fact that he's like, remember the tears from my eyes. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. Yo, I feel you. I, right. I, I, and I, 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 like, I, like, I compared a lot of stuff in Dragon Ball Z, even Super, he does as a man. You, you, so you've seen Super, you've Super seen Heroes, you've seen all that. that. Okay, and I like cool. his progression as a man. When he first saw Destructive, he saw the bigger, he Good saw too. the bigger sacrifice. Yeah. And it shows yeah. you a journey as a person. Like once you realize that, yo, you, you would make a sacrifice and do stuff for the bigger picture, yeah. you finally evolve. Yeah. Even when he was training with Kampo. He was beating him up, everything yeah. like that. The one yeah. thing he said, he punched him in his gut. Yeah. He said, remember that pain. So I took that quote. Shout, yo, shout out to Buck right. and Jeter, man. I took that quote. Every time that when stuff is going wrong, I said, remember that pain when someone gave you. You love whoever you need to love extra harder. Okay. The pain that how that you're nothing in your fridge. You take that pain, you go I love harder. it. Mm. I love it. All right. I got one for you, man. Wait, wait, wait. Why oh. get his favorite anime? Oh, that? Oh, God. My my hero. I just want to say, uh, my hero. hero. I love my hero. Now you give him a womp womp. <laughs> that, that, <laughs> that, listen. That. Listen. It came during the time where I was finding myself as a man. Okay. Mm. And seeing him as a ball throughout the series and never quitting. <laughs> they said, my like, hero. Right. My, my hero. He's all the guests that he's still able to do what he do. Cry every of a, fucking episode. Listen, I cry too. I cry sometimes. I, yo, I, I cry about it, man. I'm watching uh, 911 on Hulu. I, I cry Wait, every all episode. All you do is break it up. <laughs> I, I, I cry I'm every sure episode, man. Shout out to Enzo Bosco. I was like, I'm done. Well, you know what it is, though? I, I got, got to the last season, the season that's on now. I'm like, oh, I'm done. The whole thing, man. But you know what it is, though? It's just like, I understand that because there have been times that I, I, I reach my limit and I cry. I was like, oh, <laughs> I, I love it. Love it. You understand? I love it. Like, love when it. I thought that I was not going to ever feel better, when I thought I never was going to, you know, be the man I was today. Relate. Related. Yeah, to those that. moments okay. in the dark with no one's soul. Okay. Like, yeah, these are real moments. That's how I tell people, like, I'm not your typical dude. You understand? Mm -hmm. like, I'm not afraid to know who mm -hmm. I am. It took me years. If you don't, if you don't like it, all right, whatever. <laughs> okay. I can be bad all by myself. Yeah. So, yeah. Friends or living single? Living single. Oh, it's that friends at Seinfeld. Oh, it's kind of no, it's okay. but it's no oh, 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 yeah, 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 yeah. Friends is the white lemon single. Yeah, yeah. Oh, okay. <laughs> you feel me? Like, single for me is better because I can relate to a lot of the things that they went through. You know, a lot of the, yeah, a lot of stuff they went through. Okay. Friends is just like these are white people with money. I see. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> so like for one minute, I can just imagine that because I have black friends that don't that think they're white. Uh, don't we all? Yeah. Yeah. Don't we all? Yeah. As long as I used to know, he's the worst white man. Yeah. 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 Like, yeah. 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 Are we talking before the chicken coop after the beat? You know what I'm saying? Like, oh, oh bro, man. Yeah, yeah, man. Come on, brother, sunshine and all that. Yeah, I feel like Warren is just like, I didn't appreciate it when it was out until I got older. I thought he was saying, okay. okay. But like, Jamie Foxx was just like, it was just like, come on. Man. Man. Yeah, it's cool. Yeah, 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 it's cool. Like, it's something else to watch. Yeah, like, it's, it's, it's good. Come on. But if I have to choose to watch, a, like, like, I have watched Jamie Foxx since it, it went off the air. Mm. I watched Martin Now, nah, they came out with a new uh, Jamie Foxx show, but they just took it off the air. Mm. Which I think they should have continued with the Jamie Foxx show. But the Crenshaw is better, though. Off the Crenshaw? Yeah. Yeah. Question. Uh, uh, weirdest thing that's happened since you've been podcasting? No, man. A lot of weird things. Um, oh, Rubies? Uh, right? Rubies? Yeah, we got rubies. Um, Yo, man. I don't know. <laughs> I say, like... I was some weird stuff happened to me, very like, oh, shit, it's actually happened type of moments. Like, <laughs> spoke with Val Venus. Wow! Hello, ladies! Yeah, you know, you know my, uh, my pick, yeah, I'm speaking with Soap with him. Um, Despite what they say, to smoke with Val Venus, that's dope. Um, <sighs> right, Wale like Mania. Yeah. What? what I gotta say is this. Let's go. Uh, the amount of L's. I passed through certain wrestlers that you'll never guess that Tr smoke. Tr from. Trust me, we didn't, <laughs> we yeah, didn't smoke with a bunch. And I can never say on the air because yeah. I respect for the contract. Yes. But just know that you look alike. 
If I show you this one picture, right, I have to find it. You gonna look like. <sighs> All right. This is why I never put it online. I should have knew. I should have knew this already. Right? Yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> All right, uh, all right. All right, before we go, man, uh, any shout-outs, anything? I mean, dang, this was a good episode. Like, yeah, like, 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 y'all did, like, it's only an hour? Yeah, man. <laughs> dang, um, <laughs> any shout-outs, just shout-out to the team, man. You know, shout-out to, like, everybody. Shout-out to everybody who's been on this journey with us. Like, on some, like, bang with us, bang with us, bang with us. Like, favorite job to the moment, bro. Oh, man, um... Favorite job to the moment, bro. That's a good one, man. niggas be thugging, I know, bro. man. Yeah, shout, uh, moments, shout out to HR because she yeah, be everywhere. Oh man, I don't know how she does it. I still I owe her some hookah somewhere. Oh, I say me and Dino Brown. I haven't seen Dino Brown. That's my favorite one with that. Okay. Um, Chad, um, Chad Gaspar, yeah. was second favorite. R.I.P. Oh, Chad. And the moment I realized that this was gonna be something serious is when um. There's a lot of moments, man. Now, let me hear that moment, man. Um, let me hear that. <laughs> Having jazz interview us, having like interview jazz. That's why mm. I think that's so good. Mean, jazz, you know, you know what I want? I'm sorry, not to cut you off. I want Rodney Mack. Yo, we should get him for that. I can't, I, bro. I, yo, I, trust me. I, I, Twitter. <laughs> I don't use Twitter, but I've and yo. So did you know? Oh, no. Nah. Told me you need you. <laughs> I need you. But I need Roddy back, man. But uh, any shout outs, uh, drop uh, 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 what, you, what you do, all that info, man, please. Well, once again, follow us on the Drop Tips Network. Follow the Drop Tips Podcast on Instagram, Facebook, um, YouTube. Please like, subscribe, subscribe comment, <laughs> and uh, support the movement, man. Support all the shows on the network. Your, your sports, Mr. Black. Shout, shout out to Sports Talk. Yeah. Shout out to our sister network. Um, sister podcast, um, Talk of Champions, uh-huh. Shantine, they stand, shout out to them. Um, shout out to the Black Girl Magic show that happened Saturday. Yeah, that show, I, yeah, I saw yeah, that yeah, show. That man. show was all right, man. I seen like man. highlights and, and I photos. That's how I met, um, he would like y'all. Um, what's that dude's name? Um, Fatu. Fatu. Yo, oh, man. Yeah, so you seen Stan linked up with him and shit like that, yeah, man. man. Yeah. Yo, we'll, we'll be there July 31st. Man. man, this was a good episode, man. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Burn rubber, not your soul, man. Uh, you feel me? What, man? I'm, that bike boys is fire, man. Bike boys? Uh, yeah, bike boys, man. Bike boys? Yeah, bike. You don't? Nah, man. Come on, man. Nah, Come man. on. So I've been watching Samuel L. Jackson shit all week, man. Of course. So, you know, of course. I'm going to be honest of with course. you. Not of impressive course. too much. These anymore. motherfucking snakes off these motherfucking <laughs> 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 All right, well, yo, it's your boy, Kim uh-huh. Stones, a.k.a. Kofi Weasley. You already I'm here with the good brother. The D O E. It's your birthday, boy. It's the guy. The black. 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 The black